And now, your first alert weather. Yes, we will be dealing with a little bit more wind today and it's going to last pretty much all throughout the day. Despite the fact that shower activity will be clearing up over the course of the next couple hours. As of right now, it's not uh, raining into Idaho Falls. We're just seeing overcast skies. 41 degrees is your current temperature and those wind speeds are up around 20 miles per hour. That means that the uh, wind chill factor is relevant this morning for the first time in a while. 32 degrees is what it feels like outside. Feels like it's freezing again. Here we go, late May. Here's a look at your uh, Viper radar where we do have some mountain elevation activity going on, some snow and some rain. Rain kind of uh, hugging the Pocatello area right there. Looks like we have seen some showers right over town, but those storms are just missing Idaho Falls, kind of hugging the east, the, the, the slope of the foothills there. Watching for a chance though that we could still see a few showers through the course of the morning hours before we see more sunshine into the afternoon. This low pressure system that brought us that active day yesterday is making its way northward. We're going to be escaping its reach here soon, working in a little more sunshine, but you can already see a little more storm activity headed our way for this evening. We're watching for an active night tonight in terms of rain with more activity all throughout the day tomorrow. Here's what it'll look like by about 11 a.m. We're shaking off the chance for showers into the Snake River Plain, though into the eastern highlands and into western Wyoming. We're still looking at some snow even into the mountains and some rain throughout the region. We even see some sunshine here towards the afternoon evening hours. This is 7 p.m. before storms are really expected to overtake the area. Once again, tonight is looking pretty active, but then especially as we work our way through the daytime hours tomorrow, we're going to watch a consistent flow of storms from east to, or excuse me, from west to east here, just following that line throughout the morning hours into your afternoon with pretty consi consistent steady showers anticipated uh, all throughout the I-15 corridor, moving slowly towards those eastern highlands and in, into western Wyoming as we make our way into your Friday night. Saturday will still have a few showers in store for us before we clear up into the into a Sunday and Monday. We're going to be really improving towards the holiday for your Memorial Day Monday. In the meantime, temperatures today are falling short of average with just low six, low 60s expected for McCammon and Preston, mid 50s for Soda Springs and 50 degrees even or so should be your high into Jackson. We're looking for a Pretty cool temperatures into western Wyoming. Once again, by tomorrow morning, we'll be looking at another frost. We're really close so far this morning. 59 or so is your high for Rexburg today with upper 30s expected by tomorrow morning into central Idaho. 59 is your high for salmon as well. We'll be touching freezing into some areas throughout central Idaho. So watch for frost tomorrow morning into those regions. 59 is your high today for Arco with 63 for Pocatello, 60 in Idaho Falls. Tomorrow, Saturday, could be even a bit cooler. Highs just reaching into the 50s at that point with 60s back on the docket for your Sunday. Watching for 70s for your Memorial Day widespread throughout the Snake River Plain. One thing to watch out for here in the eight day forecast is Saturday morning. That's when Idaho Falls will be looking at another frost, 32 degrees, your anticipated overnight low into Saturday. Pocatello will watch for 63 degrees today. We'll get pretty close to freezing in the Pocatello as well. 34 so far as your anticipated low for Saturday morning before we start to warm up and hit mid 70s again by Monday. Some upper 70s is scheduled through the first half of the next work week. Salmon will look at 50s through the next several days all the way through Saturday before we start to warm up, warm up again and see some sunshine. 70, 70 degrees also scheduled for your Memorial Day Monday. Jackson will also see sunshine at that point. Highs into the mid 60s after seeing just 50 degrees as a high today through Saturday. Dan and Caitlin.